Well, if Pavel Silyagin is looking for rounds, this is certainly a man who can give those to you. He has not been stopped in 10 years. And if you look at the names who have stopped him over the years, Gennady Golovkin, Vladimir Shishkin, and Aftantil Hertzidze. Those are big punchers, serious names. And I should correct myself, Shishkin did stop him in 2018, but prior to that, it was 2010 for Sidze. So once in 10 years, Kaminsky has been stopped. And even deep into his 40s, he's been giving rounds to guys like Shishkin and John Ryder, who made a good case that he could have been world champion when he fought Callum Smith recently. Mitski went the distance with Ryder in 2016. He went the distance with Dmitry Chudinov in 2018. So in his mid-40s, this is a guy who has been able to hang with world-level competition. So to that point, it is a very nice step up for someone like Sil Yagen, who we mentioned was an amateur standout, had 11 fights in the World Series of Boxing. And probably more valuable for him to go rounds against someone like Kamitsky than it is for him to just blow out the standard fare that so many fighters do early in your career. More and more often we're seeing Fighters come out of the amateurs and just get right down to business. So Yagen certainly doing that and taking on someone like Kamitsky here tonight. start to so Yagen's pro career he stopped a, an undefeated fighter in two consecutive fights well, 10 seconds of round one a good one from so Yagen who hasn't been afraid to let his hands go here in the early going Round one of the books. Round two begins here between Pavel Silyagin and uh, Sergei Kamitsky. Kamitsky, 19 years older than Silyagin, who is 27 years of age. Well, 
And as is often the case in boxing, there's kind of a, a thread here in terms of the matchmaking between Silyagin and Kamitsky, one of Silyagin's main amateur rivals in the Russian system, is one of the stars of the Salida promotion stable, Vladimir Shishkin. So Yagen has a couple amateur wins over him. We mentioned that Shishkin stopped Kamitsky. So in all likelihood, that gives Silyagin and his team the confidence to take on Kamitsky, see if they can replicate that. Because no doubt there's going to be comparisons between Silyagin and Shishkin. And Shishkin much more advanced as a pro than Silyagin is. Shishkin really in the... If not in the title picture, then really just on the, the banks of it at this point. Looking to work his way into perhaps an eliminator bout in 2021. We saw him get back in action inside the, the Kronk Gym earlier this year. One of the many uh, unusual but oddly pleasant events that have occurred in 2020 as a result of the global pandemic. Kaminsky looks for that big right hand, keeping Silyagin honest. And Kaminsky's going to be there all night. For as long as he's on his feet, he's going to be in front of you. Very adept at picking shots off enough to not take the full force of them, for the most part. To have a career like the one he's had, you have to be smart in there, in addition to just being a tough guy, and he is certainly both. There you see some of the work from Sergei Kamitsky. Little tricky combination there a moment ago, finishing his combination with the jab. And so Yagen might have thought he was done throwing. He came behind it with full force of a left hand. Secondante, Tritti Round. We begin round three, scheduled for 10. So Yagen has been in scheduled 10 rounders twice thus far in his career, has not gone the distance, never gone past seven. And in the seventh round is when he stopped Artis Lopeson back in July. Overhand right there, grazes the shoulder of Silyagin along the ropes. Now it's Kaminsky digging to the body. Kind of slapping right hand there from Silyagin and he goes after Kaminsky with another right hand to the body. Now an uppercut. is starting to pick up the pace here. And Silyagin is following suit. It's been an interesting pattern of matchmaking thus far in the young career of Silyagin. We mentioned the two undefeated fighters. He fought prior to Kamitsky here, Artis Lopsan, who we just uh, referenced, and Orkan Gadziev. You know, two fighters who were in the Russian amateur system as well, weren't as successful as Silyagin was as well, but gets matched with them early in his career, beats them, and then goes in the other direction, takes a guy who is 
vastly more experienced than him as a pro. And I think that's been a, a good start for Sil Yak and getting a mixture of, you know, a couple guys who still have ambitions. They were undefeated. They're coming in young and hungry. And then you have a guy like Kamitsky who knows how to compose himself in the ring, who is certainly out here trying to win, but also knows how to take a young prospect rounds. And these are fights that are just part of the learning process for a fighter like Silyagin, who his handlers expect to be in the world title picture one day. These are the building blocks for young fighters. So Yagen now southpaw digs to the body. It's Kamitsky covering up along the ropes. Ooh, there's a good body shot, and Kamitsky felt that one. An unexpected body shot drops Kamitsky, who, as we mentioned, is an incredibly tough man to stop. A tough man to drop, but it is a body shot that forces him to take a knee. Wow. Just when you thought this fight was kind of falling into the pattern of the old veteran taking the young prospect rounds. So Yagen makes a statement there in the third. see the right hand from Silyagin. Let's see if we can take a look at this body shot. Yeah, it was the right hand. When Silyagin turned southpaw, it paid dividends. He was able to get that right hand right along the belt line and drop Kamitsky. And we'll see if the temperament of Silyagin will change here. It's been a while since we've seen Kamitsky stop an up-and-coming fighter. That doesn't mean that he can't still be dangerous. Really, the, the last time we saw him do something like that was back in 2015 when he fought Adam Etches. He was 18-0 at the time. He fought him at the, the Sheffield Arena. And now Silyagin really picking up the pace. Not really concerned about what we've been talking about here. Ooh, there was another body shot, and Kamitsky moving to the ropes after feeling that one. So Yagen. Had a lot of success as a southpaw. Both the most meaningful shots he scored in this fight have come in a left handed stance. And it's good to see a, a little bit of that versatility, a little bit of fluidity, fluidity excuse me, from Silyagin. The, uh, the criticism that some observers have had of Silyagin early in his career is that he can be you know, a little bit too technical, but there again, switches southpaw and it immediately leads to a knockdown. It was a cuffing right hand out of the southpaw stance from Silyagin. And perhaps the 46-year-old Sergei Kamitsky is starting to weather. You know, so often you see Sergei Kamitsky on a bout sheet and you think, oh, well, 
That one's going the distance. Unanimous decision. So seeing Silyagin do this, two knockdowns inside four rounds, is definitely meaningful. Silyagin making a statement here so far. And that will do it. It appears that Kamitsky is going to retire on the stool. And a very impressive stoppage win for Pavel Selyagin. We'll take a look back at the fourth round. There it was, the right hand right behind the ear. Good shot from Selyagin. And Sergei Kamitsky. Retires after the fourth round. Let's send it up to our ring announcer to make this one official. So a TKO win for Pavel Silyagin, who improves to 5-0, and oh, that being the third stoppage of his pro career. And... Uh, very impressive result. I think it was assumed that Silyagin was being put in there with a guy who would give him rounds. Maybe taking the distance for the, the 10 round distance, excuse me, for the first time in his career. But again, we talked about that through line. His old amateur rival, Vladimir Shishkin, he faced Sergei Kamitsky back in 2018. He stopped Kamitsky. Now, so 